you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. The trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. I'll get started right away, so I'll be ready when she finishes her shower. A strange seeing Carter after all these years. Hasn't changed a bit. Still a twisted fuck. <sighs> Poor Manfred. We've just been toast in the old days. Didn't bring him much luck. Looks like someone else's life to me now. I should prep those scrambled eggs. Some nerve, that girl. <laughs> Some nerve. should prep those scrambled eggs. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. 
So, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. But Lauren, wait. If the killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but... Yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Pick up his coffin and make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, in pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. <laughs> this girl knows Excuse her mind me. all right. No I'm point in trying to reason. I'm of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. She's convinced she's on to something. wouldn't know where And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' in time the in the friggin' spot. cemetery. Thanks.
origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, at least you won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Mom will be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. John's right. He can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. Inside is empty. Makes for a great playground. John is going too fast. He never waits for me.
to do this if it's too hard for you. No chance, I can do it all right. Just watch. and try to find me, okay? kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. 
I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. <laughs> there she goes again. Surprisingly. I'm waiting for you, Scott! Scott! It's raining! I guess you didn't notice! Shepherd's grave.
He... He could have killed me. Why didn't he? Paco knew the killer. That's why he was killed. Mm, it was too dark. It all happened so fast. Didn't have time to see his face. I seem to spend most of my time getting the shit kicked out of me. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. On the right track, do you think? I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck! His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. pheromones. The fucking origami killer. Paco Mendes was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. The killer was looking for something. Forty-five caliber. Bullet, right between the eyes. Instant death. Forty-five caliber semi-automatic. Fast. 
gotta go.